I couldn't detect terror attack on NZ mosques. Admit Facebook Facebook has said it's artificial intelligence. AI failed to detect the video of the terror attack on two New Zealand mosques. It said the AI detects such content after being trained on many thousands of examples, which is difficult for this instance, as these events are thankfully rare. Facebook had earlier said the attack's video was viewed 4,000 times before removal. Microsoft makes DNA data storage device. Codes, hello, in it Microsoft and Washington University scientists have developed the first fully automated DNA data storage system that codes digital information into manufactured DNA. The $10,000 prototype encoded, hello, into DNA in liquid form and translated it back into digital information in 21 hours. Microsoft said that natural DNA found in old bones preserved information for several thousands of years. As Facebook reveals employees had access to millions of user passwords. Facebook Today revealed that during a security review in January, it found millions of user passwords were stored in a readable format within internal data storage systems. Facebook fixed the issue and will be notifying millions of Facebook, Facebook Lite and Instagram users whose passwords were readable. These passwords were never visible to anyone outside of Facebook, the company said. Twitter CEO posted five tweets 13 years ago on the day Twitter launched over 30 tweets were posted on March 21, 2006 when microblogging site Twitter was launched. With the first ever tweet posted by Twitter's co-founder and CEO Jack Dorsey himself, he posted five tweets on the day, beginning from, just setting up my TWTTR, followed by, inviting co-workers, waiting for Dom to update more, lunch, and, working on SMS in, Snapchat admits its age verification system doesn't work. Snapchat, confronted by the UK's parliament, has admitted its age verification process doesn't keep users younger than 13 years old from signing up. Users are simply asked to enter their birthday, which could easily be fudged. Snapchat's senior director of international public policy said that Snapchat is working with the UK's Home Office to develop a new age verification system this year.